All right, uh, Steve, let's change gears. In the years since Ferguson, Missouri, gained national attention for all the wrong reasons for the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown, the city has seen violent protests and the Department of Justice investigation into its police department and municipal courts. Remember? This investigation found a community that was deeply polarized, a community where both policing and municipal court practices were found to be disproportionately harmful to African-American residents. We are prepared to use all the power that we have, all the power that we have to ensure that the situation uh, changes there. Does that include dismantling the police force? And if that's what's necessary, we're prepared to do that. Wow. And now a Ferguson municipal judge just ordered a withdrawal of all warrants issued before 2015, affecting nearly 10,000 cases. Is this amnesty on arrest warrants in Ferguson? Is this going to make everybody safer and smarter? Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. is here with the reaction. It's going to make some people happier. I don't know if it's going to make them safer or smarter, but the DOJ in their report, after they couldn't jam the police officer on a hate crime murder, said our investigation has found found overwhelming evidence of minor municipal code violations resulting in multiple arrests, jail time, and payments that exceed the cost of the original ticket many times over. So what they've done in that jurisdiction, that town, that city has said, we're going to throw out, we're going to give an amnesty on all warrants for any current traffic violations or housing code violations. You're not going to have to post bond or face jail. And this is different than a lot of jurisdictions in America, because you have to remember, in a lot of jurisdictions in America, if you don't appear for a moving violation, you can be arrested at some point in the future based on your willful non-appearance. So they're saying in Ferguson, that's out the window because there was a disproportionate proportionate targeting, according to the Department of Justice, of the African-American community there that was leading to a lack of confidence in the policing system in that jurisdiction. And you know, Peter, it's not like we're looking back and saying, well, look how peaceful things are now and how right. bad it was then. Look at what's happened over the last few weeks and knowing that anyone who had a transgression is exonerated. A a absolutely. And so it's a type of community policing. It's a philosophy that says uh, bail is punitive. Bail is something that punishes certain communities in the United States and that it's not effective. What they're going to do now with regard to Ferguson is they're going to be giving new court dates. They're going to be setting up payment plans. They're going to be setting up potential community service in place of jail. They're going to eliminate fines and they're taking away arrest warrants that are older than five years. On top of that, they're reinstating certain driver's licenses. Right. So the question becomes, what is this really about? Is the federal government put its hand into the state of Missouri and said, uh, well, you have a problem in that community. We couldn't get an indictment on the hate crime, uh, but we've looked at the entire police department and the criminal justice there, and, and it's wrong and it targeted African Americans. Well, you know, That's what they've done. I think in one way this could be a petri dish for the rest of the country. The president spent a lot of time walking into jails, talking about different things, exonerating right certain prisoners. If they do this with Ferguson, they could be doing this nationwide. They can. It's a political solution. Uh, if the Justice Department under the Obama administration had their way, they'd do it in a lot of cities across the country. The future plans are uh, up to the ne next administration in terms of how this goes forward. But it really puts into play what is the importance of justice in our society? And should people be held to account mm -hmm. for violations of the law, whatever race right. they are? I think they wanted a quieter situation. Uh, the Obama administration didn't want any more riots in Ferguson. They said, well, this is one way to right. quiet a, a community. Is it a long-term solution for better policing in this country? No. We know in the South there's a particular problem in the past in terms of these kind of phony uh, arrests right. and, and, and you know, highway violations. That's wrong, but is this right? Right. Uh, well, we're about to find out because they believe this very much has to do with race. Right. Thank you very much, Peter Johnson Jr. Brian, good to see you. All right, same here.